Hey guys, so today we're making birria tacos. So I'm a little late to the party, but I am so excited about this recipe. I can't wait to dig in. Let's get started. So I'm just gonna roughly chop one yellow onion. No need to dice this since we're just gonna put it in the pressure cooker. Then I'm gonna roughly chop five cloves of garlic. I have two limes that I'm just gonna slice into wedges so that we can have those at the end and chop up some cilantro. We're gonna go in with three guajillo chilies, one pasilla chili, one ancho chili, and we're just gonna take the seeds out of these, give them a quick rinse, and then put them in some water until the water boils, and then we're going to let them steep for about 20 minutes. And so after our chilies have seeped, I'm gonna add chipotle chilies, one or two of those. I'm gonna add those to the blender. And then I'm gonna add one cup of water. And then we're gonna blend that all the way up and put it through a strainer and sift it through until it's smooth. So we're going to add some vegetable oil to our pressure cooker on the saute setting and make sure you season your beef. I'm going to put the beef in and brown them on all sides. And so we really just want to make sure that we sear in that flavor. And so now we're going to add our onion, the garlic, that chili sauce that we blended up. We're gonna season it with some salt. Make sure you season your food really well to your taste. Use whatever seasoning you'd like. I'm gonna put in some black pepper. Some Mexican oregano. Some ground cinnamon, just a little bit cause we don't want this tasting like cinnamon. Um, some ground cloves, don't put a whole bunch of that in there either. That has a pretty strong flavor some ground ginger a little pinch of sugar don't put too much of that in there we don't want it too sweet two bay leaves um this recipe also calls for thyme but i didn't have any thyme leaves um this is some beef broth that i made with some better than beef bouillon um but use the beef powder i didn't have any of that and so i just used what i have what i had and so just stir it all up and this is what it looks like before we put the top on the pressure cooker so i just pressed the chicken slash meat option on my pressure cooker and set it for 35 minutes but i did end up cooking it an additional 15 minutes just to get it a little more tender um, I don't have an instant pot, so use whatever setting that you have on your specific pressure cooker. And then I'm just skimming the fat off of that broth, and we're going to use this fat uh, for our tortillas later. So you're just gonna dip uh, your tortilla in that fat that we reserved from earlier. Um, make sure you get it crispy and add your cheese and your meat. Um, right here, I'm not adding a whole bunch of cheese because I personally don't like a lot of cheese, but you know, put as much or as little as you want on your tacos.
so this is the finished product and so i'm just going to add some diced onion to our broth and then i'm going to add a little bit of cilantro and guys that's pretty much it this is a pretty um straightforward recipe i can't wait to dig in you know y'all hype this up so much that you know i thought i'd try it out and see what the hype was about so i hope you guys enjoy thanks for watching my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe on my videos and i'll see you next time